Okay, hello everybody. This is part three of my Ferguson TD20 head gasket replace or series of just showing me how I've done it this time. A little bit of documentation about probably one of my first tractor rebuilds as such. Right, last video I show taking the cooling system apart and getting to this stage with the heat shield and things, taking the fan belt off. I've managed to, I've got the rocker system, the rocker shafts and the push rods, the push rods are up there on a bit of cardboard. Uh, in this video I'm going to show taking the head off and oh, whatever else I find. All this in here has been, I've soaked it all in degreaser, this all should just scrape off now. All of the oil around the timing cover and things. But yeah, get started and lift the head off. Okay, so now that's all of the head studs taken out of the block, we can now remove the remaining piece of the heat shield and I'll clean all of this gungy muck out of in here. Be the next job and then we can take the head off. Okay, now we'll just attempt to take the head off. Okay, well now the head is off, it's looking pretty grimy in there, but yeah, I'll have another look. See the hop copper head gasket on here, but there's a lot of muck on the top of the cylinders. But yeah, I'll have to clean all this up. I think that's We'll pull the head gasket off and have a look. Okay, well, so now we've got the head off, the head gasket is off. And I've just wiped off all the really oily bits off the top of the engine block. So the pistons are quite clean now. I've wiped most of the oily stuff off of them. Because, and that one hasn't hardly got any oil, oil on it at all. Because this is the one with the, the uh, spark plug was the best. These are all oiled up. You can see that's what it was like before bit oily like that but they all seem to be all seems to be fine there's no obvious head gasket defects on it as such there's no big gashes in it or anything turn the brightness down a bit so it don't glare quite as much right, so there's no big holes in it where it was leaking so Is good, I suppose. I'll degrease all the top of this head, make it look better. But there's a new head gasket ready to go on. Something we found, it was manifolds cracked. I have to get another one and get that one repaired. But yeah, I'll clean up. So this is all cleaned up quite nicely. But I've got to clean up all the top of the block, sand it very slightly. Okay. Okay, now I'm just uh, cleaning up the engine block. Quite looked off to these pistons as they were quite. Uh, there's a lot of oil on them. And I've just stuffed the rag in here so I can use sides. All this all down over the timing cover. So, all right, I'll get to sanding the block. I'll put the engine, up, the phone up on the tripod, and I'll start. Okay everybody, this is uh, how far I've got so far. This is clean, I've, uh, as I've already established, I've cleaned the tops of the pistons, that's all good. Now I've come across, there's a crack in the manifold, if I can find what it is. There. Quite a big crack, that goes all the way round to underneath. So, I, I think I either need a new manifold or this to be repaired. So, that sort of puts a hold on everything while I'm trying to find one of them. And it will be, I'll take 
while I've got this time, I'll take the valves out. So I've got, I've just been through the workshop and I've found a valve spring compressor. And stud pullers for taking these studs out, which I'll do in the video. And some, what else is it? A little grinding stick thing. And I've got the paste in the cupboard for it. Must be a bit of a shock to see that there's a big crack on the manifold, but that might have been the problem with it sucking in air from here and mucking the mixture of the carburetor up. But I don't know. Keep going. Just video me taking these studs out, and that should do this video. Okay, well now, you can see I've got all these studs which have come out of the tractor here. Some of them, the nuts here are a bit stiff and they won't come off, that's where the whole studs come out. But I'll clean these up with a wire brush there, out off the video. But I just wanted to show I've done it. I've got the 12mm stud remover tool, and I've got a 11 16th deep socket in the vise. Put that down in here, and then when this wraps round, just removes the nut from the stud, which is quite useful. And then you've got fine thread on this end and coarse thread on this end. If you know which end goes down in the block, and then the stud push back down in there. Yeah, this is how I do it for now. Clean all these up, and that should do for the end of this video. I'll put it on time lapse while I take all of these off. And that'll do it for part three. Okay, well, that should do it for this video. I've got all the studs out and all of the bolts out of the studs, all the nuts out of the studs. I've got a washer for each one. I can start putting all the studs, I'll clean them all up with a wire brush here and then put them all back into the block, and that should do it. I won't video any of that, it'd be a little bit boring, but I'll leave it uh, for now. I'll do it on, I'll do it in off camera. I'll put all of the studs back in. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. This has been part three of the Ferguson TD20 like, uh, head gasket and rebuild. Right. Okay, stay tuned for part four, which will be putting some of this, hopefully, back together and cleaning up all the head.